Welcome to Vertex Tools 2. Vertex Tools 2 represents over 10 years of research and development. Let's take a look at what's new in Vertex Tools 2. Let's start by taking a look at the user interface. Unlike Vertex Tools 1, Vertex Tools 2 has three separate toolbars. Transform, Edit, and Mesh. Each of these toolbars can be turned on or off using SketchUp commands. Clicking on any one of these buttons will launch Vertex Tools and open up the sidebar. The sidebar contains all the information you'll need while using Vertex Tools. By default, it's docked to the left side, but right-clicking on the sidebar will allow you to toggle Dock Right. Right-clicking again lets you turn Dock Right off. The sidebar itself is made of four separate sections, Information, Selection, Relax, and Gizmo. These panels can individually be turned off by clicking the appropriate button on the left side. If one or more is open, clicking the arrow at the top will collapse the entire sidebar. A few simpler changes you may appreciate is the ability to double click to enter or exit groups while in Vertex Tools 2. Note that this capability is only available if you're using SketchUp 2020. Additionally, all Vertex Tool commands can be assigned shortcut keys. Just use your preference shortcuts window to assign shortcut keys to any Vertex Tools 2 commands. Some default shortcut keys will function differently while inside Vertex Tools. For example, hitting the M key on the keyboard will, rather than pulling up the default move, show the Vertex Tools version of move. Q will pull up Rotate, S will bring up Scale, and hitting the spacebar will take back to the gizmo. Let's take a look at changes with the gizmo. Like Vertex Tools 1, the gizmo still has arrows for moving in specific directions, handles for scaling, and arcs for rotating. Additionally, it has planes for scaling in 2D. This allows you to move selected geometry along one plane at a time. When using the gizmo, holding on the modifier key, option on Mac, control on Windows, will extrude the surface rather than simply move it. The modifier key will also work with scale, allowing you to create unique deformations and new surfaces. Unlike Vertex Tools 1, this can now be done with just a single selected vertex. The selection pane of the sidebar has controls to set the soft selection radius, as well as options for connected and by edge length. You can see here, the red dots indicate the selected geometry. The colored dots that fade out to blue are the ones that are within the 600 millimeter soft select radius. If I turn on connected, then only geometry that is physically connected to that which is selected will be affected by the soft select radius. If I turn on by edge length, then only vertices that are directly connected to the red selection are affected by the soft select radius. Now let's take a look at some of the new tools in Vertex Tools 2. The Merge to Picked Point tool will allow you to move selected vertices to one specific point. The Poke tool will allow you to insert new vertices on a selected face and offset it. The Bevel tool will allow you to bevel selected vertices. The Vertex Slide command allows you to move vertices along connected edges. The new bridge command connects two rows of vertices. The relax tool smooths the mesh by moving existing vertices. Get your copy of Vertex Tools 2 today at evilsoftwareempire.com. For the best possible prices, don't forget to check out evilsoftwareempire.com forward slash discounts.